New Zealand knows about yeah, it. Yeah, good stuff. The Honourable Dr Megan Woods. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It is an absolute joy to stand here as this government gets to the end of 100 days where in that time we have achieved more than the previous government did in nine long years. We have passed our families package. We have passed an extension to pay parental leave to 26 weeks. We have increased the minimum wage starting on the 1st of April. We have announced changes to strengthen workers' rights. We have announced legislation to end child and to set child poverty reduction targets into laws. We've introduced a law to ban overseas speculation. We've started setting up Kiwi Build. We've set zero carbon emissions goal. We've set up the Pike River Recovery Agency. And Mr Speaker, the list goes on. It is 100 days that on this side of the House we are rightly proud of because we know we are, do are bringing about positive, progressive change for our country. And Mr Speaker, the last 100 days haven't been quite the same picture on the opposition benches. While we've had 100 days of action, those guys have had 100 days of roaring up the barbecue, Mr Speaker. <laughs> I think it's very apt that tonight at midnight, midnight we are going to midnight. see a super blue blood moon, <laughs> because I think that very aptly describes <laughs> what is happening on the opposite benches. And Mr Speaker, we're not naive to the ways of the world. We've seen this movie before a couple of times. We know how it ends. And Mr Speaker, just, you know, doing a textual analysis of the comments coming out of the national members. Look, there's been a little bit of gossip. Bit of gossip. That gossip. means the battle lines are drawn, the factions are forming, the barbecues are roaring, and winter is coming. <laughs> the fact there have been frank conversations, Mr right. Speaker, um, that I can't even imagine what that, one, what, <laughs> what that one means, and we've seen some stuff over here. But, Mr Speaker, 152 years since we have seen this phenomenon of the super blue bud moon, I'm looking forward to see how it ends. But I think I would like to send a message to Bill English that don't worry, by 5am tomorrow morning, the moon will be back in the full light of the sun. So I think it's, it's worth him remembering that. But I think that it will only be a very short-term reprieve for the leader. Because, Mr Speaker, last night in this House, we saw one of the national members literally seize the Iron Throne. Right. We saw the Honourable Nikki Kay give a speech on a bill from the leader's chair. Oh. Now, Mr Speaker, I have seen some stuff in my time, but I have never seen someone seize the Iron Throne in such a fashion. I know she probably imagines herself more as the mother of dragons, <laughs> Daenerys Targaryen, but I would like to say that it's more of a Cersei Lannister kind of move that's happening over there on the opposition benches. Mr Speaker, what we are going to see is an opposition that gets itself obsessed with itself. The factions will form, all we will see is inward looking things. And yes, Ms Barry, I do remember these days. That's why I said I know how this movie ends. <laughs> now, Mr Speaker, what you will see in that same period, while National gets obsessed with itself, the knives are out, on the day the leader gives his State of the Nation address that we have a leak within the National Party caucus about the ructions that are going on. Instead, what you will see on this side of the House is a government that is ten intent on bringing about more progressive change for this country. We have only just begun with our first 100 days. We have many, many more things that we need to achieve to put this country on the positive track it needs to be on to face the 21st century where everybody gets a fair go. Mr Speaker, we have launched a mental health inquiry. We know there's work to, to further to be done in that. We know that we need to continue working to make sure that New Zealanders can have access to affordable, warm, dry housing. 
We know we need to keep working to make sure that our kids are getting the best education system. And Mr Speaker, we are committed to New Zealanders not firing up the barbecues. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Oh, the Honourable Mr Speaker, well, it was interesting.